Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Archolics Anonymous. Right now, we're on Scorched Earth, but this is not where we're going to stay. I was asked a while back, like about a year ago, to make a video about my builds. So, in between my hardcore playthrough on Extinction and starting up the order, I figured I would do that because this is kind of a farewell tour to all of these builds. It took a long time with a lot of these builds to to build them and gather the materials and everything because I don't, as you're aware, I'm, I don't do shit in creative mode. So all of these are built with resources that are gathered by both me and my wife. She'll, like, gather a bunch of resources for me and I build. This right here that you're looking at, this is Bobby and my gunship right here. Um... We are eventually going to go tame a titanosaur. We were going to do it for my 100 subscriber video. And just haven't been able to, to make that happen yet. But that's okay. We'll get to it eventually. All right. Well, we started out over here in this adobe structure here. Hey, get in there. All right. This simple, right? just big storage but I made it to where this was my uh, breathing room as well so I could breathe the dinos in here and then just walk them out here and let them grow up if they were large okay you got my standard food troughs out there I ended up having to put another one out here because we had a whole bunch more dinosaurs here some most of them got moved off there's my standard gun chip from my other playthrough to run the wyvern trench if y'all haven't watched that video it's in my in my scorched earth playlist with meaty bits i borrowed it from anvil and went over there and run the wyvern trench this is a greenhouse we built here plenty of plenty of good stuff plenty of room plenty of crops you know, all irrigated underneath. Got the cook pot. See, we come out here. See, we close this place off right there. And with just the spike walls over there, so shit couldn't come up in here and aggro all my stuff. Initially, of course, we had to plant species X, and it was it was all plumbed, as you can see. This was additional dino storage over here, and plus, this became my my crafting area for for high end shit, um, for the ascended stuff, you know, like extended ascended fur and stuff. So I have these safes over here that are all full of hide and, well, one of them was full of fiber. And then come down here into my sheet pen. Because we were making the ascended fur and that takes a lot of wool, you know, so we bred up the sheep just for that. This was a really good place to build a base. Um, chose it not because of its location to resources, uh, except water. That was the number one resource that I was looking for on this map, because, I mean, obviously it's scorched earth. And so we chose to build here. Plus, it was, it was like a large flat area, right? And, I mean, in Ark, you can't adjust the terrain. You just got to build with it. So... Now, this is additional dino storage over here. I built it. This is my parking garage. So I could park all my dinos. And I got my grinder out here, as you can see. So we got the second level there. 
passing right by it, just with the food troughs on there. And here's the top level with the windmill that powers everything below. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of flyers up here at the moment. Like I said, most of my dinos were moved. And also, as you can see, some of them move themselves. <laughs> it happens. But this was this was not one of my favorite maps, but it was a good solid build. You know, the whole build didn't occupy a large footprint, but I could hold a lot of dinosaurs here. And it's still one of my favorite maps to go to, or one of my favorite builds to go to, to make kibble. Because of, as you can, as you've seen, I got the, the beehives over here. And the garden, and this is like a lot of dinosaurs here that lay eggs. Yeah, parking structure. Like good old city boy parking garage. That was my inspiration for it anyway. Now over here at the house, I got the dung beetle pen for the dung beetles and the snails right here. which was plenty. As you can see, I got the the dedicated storage. And this is a dedicated storage collector right here. All you got to do is go over and touch it and it empties all of your inventory into the into the dedicated structure or into the dedicated storage. I mean, as you can see, we like gathered a bunch of crap here. That's not even counting the stuff that we took off. I'll come up here to the other deck, and this is where we got the grills, so we could cook for the kibble. And then, initially, this is where we were parking our flyers, until we ran out of room for flyers up here. Now, up yonder by the green obelisk, right up in there, is where I got Meaty Bits' base on this map. Um, you can look on Meaty Bits' playthrough for Scorched Earth and see that one. I'm not going to bother to take you there. There's nothing really special about it. Just a, a little bit old base. Didn't have to build a big one because I got the big one here. So, that's pretty much Scorched Earth, y'all. This is my base here. Like, I do have another smaller base um, over at the Wyvern Trench that I built over there for respawn purposes. So, I wouldn't have to come all the way the hell back over here. So let's go from here to Gen 2. Because I'm on Anvil right now, and Anvil, I do believe, is tribed up just about everywhere. So we should be able to go anywhere. And let's go to Gen 2. I do have a build of my gen, uh, video of my Gen 2 build on my builds. Probably where I'm going to put this one playlist. But it was before now, obviously. And we did do some some more build. I did do some more building over there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... How about the tech sleeping pod? Let's spawn there. All right, and it's dark here, so I'm going to pause y'all until it's daylight, just because it's, well, maybe. We can go look at the stuff in here, because it's pretty dark anyway. Start off with a greenhouse. Well, this is a teleporter. I mean, if y'all watch my Gen 2 stuff, then you'll, you'll, you'll know about that one. This is our greenhouse here. Built it down in here because I'm stupid. Actually, I built it down in here because it was easily plumbed. Because it lets you plumb from this little bitty shallow water here. I found that out when I was plumbing my um, cook pot up there. 
with this plumbing right here. Let me plumb it up there. So I was like, sweet, I'm going to build a greenhouse in here. You know, never bothered to consider the fact that a greenhouse really, really needs sunlight. And there just isn't any here. So as you can see, we have 0% greenhouse effect. Really didn't slow us down much though, because I mean, the quantity of plants is, is so much that, and really by the time we got here, we had so much kibble that we really didn't need it. It was just building it for the sake of building it. And the dung beetle pen, of course. Gotta have one of those, even if you're not doing fertilizer, just so you can collect a bunch of oil. But I thought it looked pretty cool down in here. You know, all tucked away. Too bad, you know, the game just actually used like real life fucking shit with need to <laughs> needing sunlight on a greenhouse. You never know how accurate a game's gonna be, right? So that was a gamble. Just didn't pay off. But we got the beer barrel and the collector and all that crap over in here. More dedicated storage. Had to lower the platforms and shit all the way over here because ARC annoyingly won't let you build on this structure. It doesn't count as a structure, although it's an existing structure. I wish they would have ever, well, I wish they would have changed that, but they never did and they're fucking never gonna. So we had to, plat I had to platform here and then same thing. I just run it all the way across here so I could platform over here for the other one. One's S plus and the other is not. I got my fridge just stuck in over here. Um, what else? A little bit of screen tear there for you. You're welcome. A okay, dedicated storage I just lined up over here. Just because it was all quick and easy. And got the big boy furnace right there. Big boy forge. And we're full of metal. More dedicated storage. And almost full of metal on this one. Um, got cryo fridges here. Uh, like most of them are got a whole fuck ton of dinosaurs in them. Now, I built the elevator here. Oh, look. It's up. Let's go up to it. I don't have like a regular flyer here. I'm borrowing my wife's bird. This is my flyer, flyer, flyer platform up here. Um, what I, I have an astrocetus. I just, I think I may have put it in a cryopod. It's huge though. I might show y'all. Yeah, I think I'll show y'all that. But this was my flyers. And like I said, I have the the elevator here, just because I'm, I like to build elevators. Yeah, just just the way it is. You know, when you're on this map, you got a jetpack all the time, so you don't really need an elevator. But putting the elevator there, I thought was just a, a nice touch. Now I got my storage cabinets over here. This somehow they all got aggroed and out of line, which is fucking annoying. Whatever came in here, I'm fairly certain it said it was sorry. Hey, that's my griffin over there. This is what happens when you leave servers up and you're not on them. You gotta go get my griffin. I don't know that he'll respond to a whistle from here.
Nope. Won't even let me whistle from here. What are you whistling for, dude? We'll just find another flyer to take out there. There aren't any out here. Rock drakes, they're gliders that they don't count. Here, let's do a tech void worm right here. These things are noisy to fly. I never liked it. Now, what are you doing out here, drop runner? Yeah, come on. Let's go home. Bring any of your friends out here? Well, this is one of the few maps I'm going to keep. The rest of them I'm going to delete. But I'm going to keep this one because this is where I run all my boss fights. Or breed all my boss fight dinosaurs for. In my boss fight videos. Come here, my dude. This is my breeding area out here. I do believe I highlighted it in my video. Look, it's got that fancy little egg incubator. Um, what's in my cabinets? Oh, saddles for everything I was breeding. So you can see I was last breeding Argents. These have some mutations. Not like old shit ton, you know, not like other other people do, but I mean, 18's not bad. All right, so we're gonna pause till daylight. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, here we are, it's daylight now. So, as I said, this is my breeding area. It's a, a huge ass flat area. Come on, fucking dude, chill. Here, stop following me. All right, so we got to, I built a little picnic area out here. It was pretty cool. So, you know, I could sit here and just chill while I was waiting on dinosaurs to grow up. You know, got a little area there I can cook if I wanted to. Just pure aesthetics, obviously. But this is where I breed all my dinosaurs for my boss fights. Um, for the boss fight run, if... Those of you, I know most of you are late subscribers, you know, and weren't subscribed to me when I was doing them, but I'm going to pick them back up. As you can see, I plan on running the Baryonyx and Megalania, and I got Raptors and Tech Raptors, and I got Delos. and I got the Utes that I'm going to be riding. And Tech Triceratops. Got a whole run of them. Looks cool as shit, don't it? I like it. What else have we got over here? Oh, we got Kentros. I'm going to run Kentros against them. And all of these I run against, like, the Broodmother and Megapithecus. Take them back to the island just to see how effective they are. To see, I just wanted to see if they were worth taming, if you could run boss fights with them. That's the only reason. Now, I did turn this area over here as you can see I made dino pens over here because I've already run all of the insects and this is where I stored all of them is right over in here so when I'm on here and I'm doing a bunch of breeding then I just bring them over here and store them so I have more room over here as you can see though I, I really haven't been moving dinosaurs around they're all they're all still right there and there's a bunch of them they're all bred from max level tames. But let's show you the rest of Gen 2, because I built a couple of places here. Let's go over here and check this one out.
I'm going to bring you back when the kid's not crying. All right, for those of you who've been with me for a while or went back like Santiago and watched some of my older videos, you should be familiar with this. This is Anvil Shitter. Hey, how come they're not working? Yeah, that's where Anvil goes, take shit and think about stuff. You know, shitter with a view. Sorry, a restroom. For those of you who are offended by profanity. Of course, there's not really anything profane about saying shitter. That's just what it is. Got this tech generator power and just that and this tech transmitter right here. Just because I can. I had them. Why not? All right, so this is the house over here. Just simple, but elegant, I think. You know, got everything a person needs. Nice fireplace. Got a hell of a view on that out, out the back deck. And got my flags on display over here. Got my harvesting area over here for all my build stuff. And it's all protected over here by fucking or by big ass behemoth gate. All right, so you know what? I, I cuss, y'all. I cuss. Just fucking get used to it. Like Santiago said, it's just, that's how I talk. I don't know how not to. So I got behemoth gates to, to keep everything from being able to come in there and start trouble. And you got this area up here for trophies with the other tech transmitter, you know, and got the... I tried to get like the cool colored dinosaurs that I had and, and get their skins. You know, like, look at that Rex. Isn't that a cool-looking Rex? That was a cool-looking Rex. I think it was only, like, a level 12 or something, but it was cool-looking, so I killed it and took its skin. Yeah, what can you do? Sue me. That was a cool-looking Tyler. Yeah, see, so use the taxidermy stands and my flags. Just created a nice little demo display area over here in the waterfall. Because as you as you all know, I like using cliff platforms as well. And I'm going to tell you, it was not an easy thing to to get all these cliff platforms at the same height. Because, you know, there are only certain places they will snap. You can't put them everywhere you want to. But over here is right where, this is where I started. Because I started with this one. And then built over to that one and then over to that one. I just wanted to triangulate them. And this just had like the fabricator, just the basics over here. And the animals I needed to gather stuff and, and build with. My construction crew, take them with me everywhere. Anyway, I was just out here flying around drop running one day. And I seen this area over here with the waterfalls, the twin waterfalls. And I was like, that was gorgeous. Be a beautiful place to, to build a base. You know, and initially I was going to build down in here, but then I already had the big base. So I was like, you know what? I'll just build an outpost and use some cliff platforms and see if I can just triangulate them all and, and put the house in the middle. Thought it turned out pretty good. Hope you all like it. I'm pretty proud of it. It was a lot of work. And let's check out the last place here.
And that's just this one. Just because I was using the the cliff platforms again. I never really finished what I wanted to do over here. But this is just so I had a place to go and I was doing the breeding of the of the insects over here. As you can see I've got a bunch of spiders and scorpions still. And this is my taming pin for the shadow mains. Right there, just pick them up with a quetzal and drop them in there. Feed them from the bottom. But this was nice and centrally located. I built here just because it is centrally located in this biome. And, and pretty good access to everything I needed when I was coming over here. I would only come over here to go hunting. Didn't plan on living here. Just wanted a place to go hunting. Look, my skeletal quetzal. It's cool looking. All right, well, that is. Oh, well, I was gonna, what I was going to do, since I told you I didn't finish, might as well tell you what I was going to do, and may still yet someday, is come down under here on the underside and build a second tier underneath there. Just run it around. So it's an upper level and a lower level. Thought that might be kind of cool. Let's go back to the main base. In here where it's always dark. See, in, in my in my video where I built all this, I run this wall out all the way over here just to keep anything from being able to aggro my dinos and come up in here and just be a bother, really, more than anything else. Built all the way down here. I was initially going to put a cliff platform right up here, but I voted it off the island. Because it let me place it, but it didn't let me place it where I wanted to. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you all the Astrocetus. I think it's in this one. Yeah. Check out the size of this dinosaur. Yeah, space whale. I don't have a saddle blueprint for it. I don't have a saddle ingram for it. I haven't done whatever it takes to get it. Not sure what that is. And not really that worried about it. But if one of y'all know, you can tell me in the comments. But yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, they look cool anyway. Kind of a pain in the ass to tame. But I got that one tamed anyway. As you can see, it's level 77. It wasn't like a really high level one, but... It was still an Astrocetus, and I didn't have one yet. Look, chibi display cases. All right, let's see. I think I have Crystal Isle up now. So let's go take a look at Crystal Isle. Oh, yes, there is. I can see it right there.
All right, I'm going to have to figure this out. I'll bring you all back when I'm there. All right, got to figure it figured out. So this is our Crystal Isles build. Right here. Obviously, I had more, more dinos here at one time. Like, a lot more. But, get Dad's new ride here and take a little... Well, let's take a foot tour. Well, let's take an aerial tour out here first. Alright, that's our house there. And just built a bunch of ocean platforms out here. This is where I was, like, sticking all my wyverns. You know, all the crystal, crystal wyverns. That, you know, needed needed... They have a big footprint, as you're well aware. So, needed a place to put them. So, I just, you know, filled all of these ocean platforms in and built it out here. And it was a good place to put our house away from everywhere everything was going to aggro. Yeah, it's an S plus glass house. So, you know, we don't throw stones while we're here because we're living in a glass house. There's the green weenie. Haven't seen him in a fat minute. Or it. Since they don't have a gender. Um, let's see. That's the Quetzal I used to tame that stupid ass bird that I hate. Tropignaceous. Got the catapult on the back. Got a nice covered walkway all the way out to it. And of course, dinos out over here. Got some cool colored ones. I like to collect cool colored dinos. But not even the turd level ones. You know, like look at old Dodicarus right there. You know, it's a pretty ass Dodicarus and it's level 282, so it's not garbage. This is a Christmas theory. I do believe I tamed it on the center. Okay, we're not talking about dinosaurs here. Um, this was built just to be able to put the greenhouse up on top of it. Dude, this is a glass floor in case you wonder why I'm not falling through. So we just have a little bit of greenhouse here. Like when we came here, we had like, I had a bunch of kibble. So we really just needed to be able to maintain a little bit. Plus, it's, it's hard not to build a greenhouse everywhere. Okay, and you can come up here and run up over top over here to get to where I had my Argents. You know, obviously have Argents up on top of the greenhouse as well. You've seen those. But had my other Argents up here. This was my main Argent storage was up here. Nice parking spot for them. We had some really pretty Argents on this server. See, look at them. Just really pretty. Anyway, coming out of there through the double doors. Nice covered walkway coming over here. And this is a crafting area. As you can see. Okay, this was my breeding area out here. All of my tech skins on the gigas. Anyway, and out over this way, just because I could, I built the Pagoda. Pagoda. And it's really nothing more than aesthetics. I just built it to, because I wanted to see if I could. See what it would look like when it was done. Oh, look, a hyena done. Just walking around out here. 
He doesn't want to be our friend either. Anyway, we got Dionicus and Volanosaurus out here keeping watch over it. But yeah, I never really finished it up in here because I was going to put these all around and just make it like a just a display area. You know, display some dinos. But just got squirreled and went somewhere else and never really finished it. But, you know, it's still a good looking build. I like it. It wasn't easy. I had to look up an Aaron Longstaff video to figure out how to make my ceiling right. Because I couldn't get it right. I tried and tried and tried. Just couldn't get it right. So I had to, had to get on here and look for, look for some help from Aaron. Because I knew that Aaron would have built one at one time or another. And he sure enough did. Yeah, that's pretty much the extent of the build on this place. It's a nice build. I liked it. It's gonna I'm gonna be sad to delete it. But delete it I will. Need to make room on my PC for all of the new builds I'm gonna have. So let's go up here to this tech transmitter and I'll load up another one and take y'all there. See y'all in a little while. All right, and here we are in Gen 1. Gen 1 is really where I first started using the ocean platforms. I, I really don't like this map much. I, I don't like not being able to travel wherever I want to on a map. And I really don't like not having flyers. And you just can't fly here. But this is where I have most of my, my ocean tames at. Because this is another map I never finished. I, I didn't bother. But I do have the ocean tames here. Like a whole bunch of them. As you can see, you got my big Mosa right there. And the Dunkley. I'm ocean tame and pen around here somewhere, maybe. Or I might tore it down. I think I tore it down as soon as I got the big mega shell on right here. This big, super big turtle. Yeah, I probably tore my platform down at that point. Or my tame and pen. But, yeah. Yeah, this is mostly underwater here on this map. Or on this area of the map, this is the ocean biome. But use mostly ocean platforms. Obviously because it's the ocean biome. But you can come up here. Up this nice big staircase. And got my magma sore. And you can run up to the next level. And I got these fellers. Another cliff platform over here that held some dinos. I don't remember what was over here, but there were some. As you can see from the from the airs, you can see how big the base is. Got my sheep pen over there. And well, we're gonna end up going all the way around out there. But just wanted to show you all the way up first. I think I'm going to have to get a Ravager to get up this next area. No, how the hell did I get up there? Probably a Thylacolio. Yeah, I rode a Thylacolio up there. See if I can find a Thyla. Pretty sure I have one. Yep, see it from here. We'll just take a Thyla tour of this base.
Anyway, built this up here. No real good reason, other than the fact I wanted to. And I think I had intended just to keep building them up the side here. Just to scale all the way up to the top. Just because I could. Cleared it. Cleared it. You didn't think I was gonna, but it did. Thought I was gonna land on a gas bag, didn't you? Anywhere. There's there's my Karuku and Ovis pen. Whew, just about went for a swim. Got to walk way around the ocean platform there. And this, I'm gonna tell you, this was an endeavor to build, y'all, right here. Because I built it all from there down. And I had to use an Archaeopteryx on my shoulder. And build it all as I was teleporting. Or as I was parachuting, sorry. Just parachute down and just snap shit together. In order to get these secured to the foundation. But built this here because this is where you spawn in here. When you teleport from biome to biome. When you come to this part of the this part of the ocean biome, this is where you teleport in. And since you can't have flyers here, you know, getting over to the base, well, it's going to be difficult. So built this so we could just you know ride over to the base. But yeah, this here's Gen 1. He said just mostly filled in ocean platforms. So, I'll load up another one and show you all that one. I think that's the last one Anvil's going to be going to. Because um, we got a couple more. Well, no. No, I think I... I just don't know who all's there. I may have pain on one of them. Anyway, I'll find out, and I'll bring y'all back so you can see those. And here is another Crystal Isles build. This was me and my son. It's not really much of a, much of a build yet, because, well, I mean... He, I've heard I've said it before you know he starts playing and then he stops but you know we built up here in the in the floating islands right up north here I think uh, during my playthrough I think I, I mentioned where he and I had built but like I said it's not really a a massive build but it is kind of cool so I figured I would share it with you you know, just got the little house up here because you don't need a big house, right? You just don't. We'll hop on Dad's ride and take a tour. Come down here, the dung beetle pen. And you know what that means? That means greenhouse. See, our greenhouse isn't even fully grown. That's how little we've played on here. Hey, I just went in the water. Get out of there. Yeah, just a, little, a different design on the greenhouse. Just thought it would be cool to do something different. You know, got the cook pot and all of the all of the preserving bins out here making, you know, jerky. Got the electro forest out here in the little shallow water so nothing comes in here and fucks with us. And of course, the berries. You always got to have berries. That's, that's they're a necessity. Um, I need to come back over here and get the bird. It's dark. This is going to be a pretty short tour because, like I said, it's not a big base. But you know, simple, elegant, functional, and pretty. I mean, it's a really pretty location. Might stay until the sun comes up just so I can show you. Coming out over here, if I remember right. Let 
Maybe. Oh, it's over here. This is our ocean platform, so we can get in the water and do the water tames. See, down in there. I believe this was mostly my son's design. Being able just to like walk your way up and have your, your flyers and stuff standing up here. Now the intent was to put an elevator from here all the way up there. Just never got there. But a pretty neat design. Pretty original. You know, plenty of room for some storage boxes and stuff. You know, I think, you know, I'm not quite certain if he was done with it or where he was going to go with it. But like I said, he just stopped playing. And I have plenty of servers to play on, so I just didn't play on this one anymore. Yeah, you see, this is just a gorgeous spot. Look at this. I mean, it's just, just gorgeous. Worth building here just to be able to load in and look at that every time. Am I wrong? Yeah, I didn't think so. There's not a whole shit ton of room for dinos. But as you're aware, you, you really don't need a lot of dinos to run this map. Yeah, you know, but we made we made as much space as we could. But look, we had an argent come down here, fucking fighting with something, no doubt. But as you can see, there was still building in progress. Oh come on, where'd that argent go? Come on, stop being a retard. Come over here. I'd be a retard then. You're just going to get deleted anyway, so uh, I'm not, not going to mess with you. So yeah, that was this build. Simple. Pretty. I just like loading into this. I'll miss it. Empty crowd pods in there. Of course, you know, with me, the ever-present light pet. So, load up the next one. Bring y'all in for it. Okay, and here we are back on the island. This is one I was playing with my friend, Bobby, on. And, well, I mean, this is the inside. We'll show you around on it. Here we go. That's the inside. Now let's jump on Anvil's ride here. A little aerial tour of the inside. Just because we like to ride our Argents. All right, that one wants to open. We'll go out it. All right, and this is my Robin Hood build. All up in the redwoods on tree platforms. Look, there's my elevator to go down. Got the glass case, just like a regular real-life elevator does. Built these foundations over so that I could 
just put the walkways in the air to the other tree platforms. Then enclose them and put the roof on them. This one here is obviously dinosaur storage. Got them all caged in. Jurassic Park style. This is one of the coolest greenhouses I've built. Come across that platform coming over to here. And we got this set up over here. You know, since there's no uh, water's like a long ways away to plumb it, then I plumbed it all with the rain barrels. And it's just a, a huge ass circle around the cliff platform. It could obviously hold a lot more plants, but you don't need that many plants. You don't need a greenhouse this damn big. But we got one anyway. The dung beetles out here, of course. So you can gather the fertilizer. Come on, open up. Yeah, got the refrigerators back here to store all the stuff in. And there's the industrial cooker. And my wife's ever-present moose chops. Then down here is even more dinosaur storage. Because we were running out of room. And why not build under it, right? All it takes is another roof. And you can build all the way around again. Except I don't remember how to get fucked back up there. Probably have to go all the way out. Wait, I have an idea. Thanks for the ride. Appreciate you. Yeah, but that's just, you know, snuggled up here in the middle of the redwoods. Well, really not in the middle. It's right by the mountain for in the redwoods. It's right over there. So it's a, a handy place to go get metal and crystal when you need it. Uh, obviously, there's plenty of wood. And, I mean, you can look around. There's plenty of rocks to build with. And I'd never built in the redwoods before. So figured I'd give it a shot. Got them super high level questels right there. Look at that level 62. It's awesome. Argent's hanging out up on the roof. I like the roof design on this one. I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, just looking for different. Trying different kind of builds. Different build styles. Yeah, we got all of the crafting stuff in here. So you can take care of all of your crafting needs right here in the hub. Right in the middle and then run the spokes out wherever you want to go. Pretty nice, pretty handy. And, I mean, we don't get aggroed much over here. At least we didn't when we were playing. Once again, we haven't played on this for a while. But the elevator is what we use to go get wood. You know, be able to take the mammoth down there and go harvest a bunch. Now, before we had the elevator, of course, we were using the, 
the beaver and just flying it down there with the with an argent but that's that's fairly limiting you know the the elevator will carry the mammoth full of wood and a dodecarus full of stone and we got the beds as you can see it's up over there and up over here so all nice and out of the way And there's that one. Kind of mixed up the materials. See, I got the framed in the windows in metal. Just because we had it. Why not? I mean, it made it look cool. And that's what we were going for. Just a nice, cool build. Just, you know, this, we weren't really rushing anything on this playthrough. Just playing and having fun and building. Gathering resources. The fun part of ARC. You know, without having to worry about, you know, going and running the caves and hurrying through the boss fights and all that shit. But that's this one. Um, give me a few minutes. I'll bring you back and show you another one. And here we are at one of the noisier builds. And once again, on a build I was playing with one of my children, and it just stopped playing. This is the upstairs of the house. Which is, you know, the sleeping area. And had my guardian Squatch watching me sleep. That's my daughter right there, Nabooru. Yeah, she's sleeping. She's been sleeping a while because I, you know, this game. I don't even. I don't even remember the last time we were on this map. But yeah, this is the center, and we built right underneath the big floating island. Right there is probably the loudest of my builds because of the sound of the water all the way around us but I thought it was like it's a really cool place to build you know it, we got lots of dinos for the little bit of time that we played got them hitched up there um, I like the house design you know it's a little different for, for me on, on the house the underside is like empty it was eventually going to be used for storage um, got the crafting area over here I mean you see the big the big forge and we got the breeding area right over here got an ankylosaurus is not even like grown up yet poor guy just been in stasis forever Okay, and then I built up here, and then you got to go up, and then up some more to get to our flyer storage area right here. Because for a while, all we had was the pteranodons. We just need a place to park the birds. So, didn't want to crowd up down there with them because, well... Yeah, it's got a pretty good crowd as it is. Nope, gotta go down the stairs. There we go. Thank you very much. Fall off the side. It's all right. I can walk on the walls. Um, yeah, this is my typical setup with Parasaurus. You know, high Chit, Saldero. Got Bobette, hold my shit, grinder shit, crystal, um, dope fiend, slick. That's what slick's got. Slick's got oil. Princess here, holding all the blueprints and stuff that we've gathered so far. We got the pup there. Let's pet the puppy. On wandering. Dire wolves were some of our first, you know, decent tames here to live. All right, now the greenhouse and the water area here. Oh, yeah. 
pretty easy to plumb this one since I was sitting on top of the lake on an ocean platform. The ever-present greenhouse. The ever-present dung beetle pen. And the ever-present industrial cooker. Now this side here, this is our dino breeding area. So we can breed all of our megalodons and bacillosauruses and stuff. Now funny thing about this map is we tamed a bacillosaurus right over here, but if you leave them out over here, it's too deep a water for them to live and they start taking depth damage which was like weird as hell. We had one die, didn't know why it died, just said your bacillosaurus died. Went out there and then the other ones were just going the uh, 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 like they do when they take damage, you know? And, it, and it's just like, it's no deeper than this shit right here. But I guess it's counting from the vertical being up there, being the surface. And then we're down this far and then that much farther. And that was too much. This is taming pen right here for the megalodons because there were a bunch of them spawning. There still is a bunch of them that spawn out there. And just kite them up here and get them right in there and tame them up. Easy peasy. But this was fun. Like I said, she stopped playing as well. So we stopped playing. Just another abandoned server. With a Rex egg. Can't just leave a Rex egg laying around. Just can't. It's good kibble. But yeah, we were like getting a turtle army going. Because she wanted a bunch of turtles. So we got a bunch of turtles. We are going to kick the shit out of something with a bunch of turtles. And of course, we had the practical Rexes. So, yeah, that's this one. Go back up here and lay back down. See if we can't find another one to show you. Be back in a couple of minutes. Right, and this one here is a relatively simple build that my wife and I made on the island back here right below Giga, Giga Mountain right back there in that nasty swampy murky water and this is the the map that I always come to to run my boss fights but we just use cliff platforms here and just set them on the side here and then built out on them you know, pretty solid concept. You know, had this little open area here, nice and flat. As you can see, this is where I ran the the boss fight with the with the insects. They beat the brood mother's ass. Yeah, brought some magma sore over here, so we didn't have to worry about you know building forges and stuff. Just melt the melt the metal with them. Dino gated it off over here. This was my first attempt ever at building the shitter. Right there. Nice and private with windows to help the smell get out. But yeah, as you notice, I, I kind of like simple builds. But that are that are fully functional. This is a fully functional base. It's a little crowded now with a bunch of insects. But we got the dino gate over there. So the only way anything ever aggros on us is coming off that mountain up there, which it happens, or coming up that ramp right there. And now I got this stylus stuck on top of Arthropleura.
yeah, every once in a while we'll have a Carno or a Rex or something come like walking down around through there or get a Sarco coming up here. But as you can imagine, they don't they don't go very far. Got the access here to the to the Bacillosauruses. And of course, you use those to run the run the caves. Because when I'm running the boss fights, I have to run all the caves all over again. So, yeah, got to get that done. Stockpile a whole bunch more of the artifacts. Just because I... Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't know how to just spawn them in. Or else I'd probably just do that. Because, I mean, it's not like I can't run the caves. I, I have, like, dozens and dozens of times. But... I, I just don't know how. I could look up how. I probably will and give it a shot just to just to make it easier to run. I don't even know how many I got left in here. Probably not much. Yeah. I can run gamma at least. So yeah, this is where I'll, I'll go to to run the boss fight with the Triceratops and the and the Raptors and all the other ones you've seen on on Gen Two. Breed them there, cryo them, bring them here, and like all of the survivors, they're they're just gonna keep running higher. You know, I'm gonna I'll take them against the dragon and let the dragon kill most of them because you know the dragon will, especially the insects. They just don't pack enough wallop. Anyway, that's topic topic for another video. Not for this one. This is just, you know, nice, simple, but elegant build. I can, because this is S plus here, then I can access the boss fight from here. I don't have to go to an, ob an obelisk. Just made it a whole lot easier. Because it's not about, you know, running the caves and running the obelisks and going all that crap. It, this was made just to run boss fights. And because my wife and I wanted to run the island again. So, yeah. Yeah, there's this one. Um, I don't know how many more I have. I'll have to check and see. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, and this one here, y'all, is probably going to be the last one I show. I, I I have more builds, but I think I dumped the save files because I overwrote them. But I already have a video on this build, but not all of it. Um, but for those of you who don't go back through archives and, you know, check on older videos, this was, this was a, yeah, my biggest build ever. I wanted to build massive, so... My wife and Squatch and I got together and built this place, and it is massive. This was this is my house. My wife likes A-frames, so I built her an A-frame. It's a work off of one of Aaron Longstaff's builds. Um, I kind of changed it to make it more my style, but it was inspired by his. Now, we have an entire city wall that we built going all the way around here, and my wife took the time to paint it all. Up here by the red hob. But it goes all the way around, and it is, it is huge. This was an endeavor. You know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this whole build. Pretty proud of the effort given by everybody to, to make it come to fruition but definitely uh, a joint project and look there's an alpha right there just checking us out he likes to build too this is Squatch's home well technically this is Squatch's home right here but he built this one up here that he never finished the inside of, but it's a pretty cool build. Take y'all on a short tour of it. Oh, Hammer, I'll be right with you. 
You may see it's not furnished or anything, but. Come in, it looks pretty cool. Come out to this big ass area over here. And it goes into these massive rooms. I think he was thinking like cathedral. You know, like he was gonna make it like some kind of cathedral looking thing. Not really positive. Like I said, he never finished it. I don't know if it's getting daylight or getting dark. But this wall encompasses quite the area, you see. It, it won't even render all of it in. And I have I have a nice computer and it renders really slow. Uh, oh yeah, I remember I built a teleporter over here so we can get to the other base. Anyway, I built this obelisk looking thing just for shits and grins. Because I thought it was cool. You know, just wanted to build something different. Alright, hammer. Sit still. Alright, this is Anvil's chemical and fabrication station. As you can guess, got a chem station and a fabricator. And refrigerators accordingly. And storage boxes, all nice and neatly labeled. And let's see, we go on around over here. And get to anvils and sis, get hammered and do drop in. Got a place to stable your horses over here. But I mean, what's a good Viking town without a tavern, right? Get some light on the subject. I don't want in you. Oh, wall torch ain't got no wood in it. That's why it wasn't burning. It's obviously not an S plus. Anywhere, here's the, the I have a penis toilet and the I do not have a penis toilet. You know, to, to make it simple for people. You know, got the, the mannequins, the, the test dummies that I put in there just to populate the place. Come back to the back here and you go up the stairs You go up another set of stairs, and these are the these are the rooms that you can rent. Go on, let me out. Right there, all pretty much decorated the same, but fully furnished. Got more over here. On the sides, plenty of room. There's plenty of room at the get hammered and do drop in. Because it's identical over here. See? Pretty nice. Nice place to stay. I recommend it. All right, and if you're an out a more outdoor kind of diner then you can come on out here and have a seat on the outdoor patio and we'll be happy to serve that some bitch up there yeah he gonna end up falling over the edge well that's the get hammered and do drop in
Now here is Anvil's Metal Work and Saddle Saddle Shop. Pretty simple, but you know, got Equus there, you know, for the saddles. Got armor cabinets. Got the forge. Got a squatch there, keeping an eye on shit. Got the big forge back there. It ain't burning nothing. Because we ain't playing on here. But you can go right next door to Sis Garden and Potion Shop. Where she's got a little greenhouse. And her cooking shit. Mortar and pestle there so she can pound you out some potion. You need a unicorn there because it's magic. Okay, look, there's one of them sons of bitches I don't like right there. But I tamed it anyway. There's son of Margosaurus. That was fun to tame. Anyway, this is my barn. This is courtesy of Aaron Longstaff as well. Once again, not exactly like his, but inspired by. And it's full of our parasaurs, you know, that are our storage cabinets. And the Ovis. There's more Margosaurus over there. I, I think those are just fresh born. Yeah, they don't have saddles yet, so they were fresh born. Well, fresh born last time I was on here anyway. Oh, let's go to the docks. Down here's where all the poor people live. These little thatch huts. Because poor folk live on the dock. Just how it is. But we got the shops that are invariably at every dock on every wharf. You know, I, you know, Ark doesn't have a whole lot to decorate tables and stuff with, or else I'd have put some stuff on the tables. But the entire city wall you can traverse the inside of until you get to here, and then I put this up just to keep, you know, strangers from coming in. Here's my drawbridge. Coming out to the ocean platform with the ocean tames. Look, it's Nessie. I seen her right there. Yeah, we got some squid. And we got some big ass turtles. This is the view of the city wall from the outside. Then my wife done a hell of a job of painting it all. That was a lot of work. No shit you not. Of course, building it was a lot of work. This is my gate. I drop it on your ass if you're not welcome here. This looks pretty cool at night because all the torches will be lit up. We'll just grab this Argent and ride it out of here. We got this platform here that we built so you can get inside the city wall with flyers. Which was handy because that whole corner over there is where we were crafting everything. So we'd fly all the fly all the wood and the stone and shit in through here to take it down there to the crafting station. Yeah, this is our town that we built. I'm pretty proud of it. Like I said, it was a lot of effort on, on everybody's part. And some pretty neat designs. I hope you all enjoy it. Now, let's get over here to one that's not quite finished. Let me get Hammer back, though.
Because if I'm going into places I'm not sure of them, I'm going to take my hammer. This build over here I haven't finished yet. I don't know why I just went in the water. Probably because it hasn't rendered yet. All right, note to self, make sure the fucking place renders in before you teleport in. Of course, how you're supposed to do that, couldn't tell you. Come here, hammer. I'm better off airborne. But come here. All right, so this... This was an island out here. And... Well, I just made it into this great big ass build is that I haven't finished it yet I know uh, I was doing this when I started recording stuff and since I started recording I kind of stopped doing this but this place is massive there was an island out here. And I just platformed it all and kept it its original shape. And just made it all one big building. And you come out here and here's a swimming pool. Over a little park area here. Where I have a bunch of the dinos that we've either had or killed on display. Once again, just the really cool colored ones. You know, use the artifact stands and some of the S plus shaped plots to, to put the plants in. Protecting it with those, of course. So everything that comes within range is going to get wiped out. As you can see, we're going to put more out here. Just haven't got to it yet. That's one of the prettiest snow owls I've seen right there. Yeah, this is over here in the desert biome on this on this map. Um, my teleporter is supposed to be right here. Which is why I spawned in in the water. Okay, so the teleporter is under here. Put it on the back of a big ass turtle so I can move it wherever I wanted to. Teleport wherever I want to go. But yeah, this was this was quite an endeavor. I got the towers. I didn't even show those. These towers were really fun to build. plan was to hey what happened to that one uh, error, in, error in construction right there is to connect both of these with a walkway going across 
That's the plan. Yeah, this is our this is our desert construct. I don't build an adobe much, but I thought it was suitable over here. And it was fun to build. See if I spawn in underneath the platform on this one. Hey, where's Hammer? Oh, there's Hammer. Leave Hammer somewhere else. That would be rude. Yeah, this build's kind of big. It takes like forever for everything to render. As you can see. We kind of stopped adding stuff in here just because it was taking so long to render in. So we kind of stopped building more stuff because we had more stuff we wanted to build. But I mean, even with my computer, like I said, which is not shabby, it takes forever to render it in. Put hammer back up here on the smithy where he belongs. She hammers a she. Anyway, y'all, that's the that's the build tour. As, as it stands right now, I mean, it, most of them, like I said, I'm probably going to delete. It's going to be hard to delete them because it was. You just spent like an hour and 28 minutes looking at like three years worth of work. But I got to make room. I got to make room for, you know, the Survivor Edition. When I start a new playthrough through it, I'm going to start it on my cluster here. And all of these save files have to go away so I can make new ones. That's assuming I can even create my own cluster with the new stuff. I'm going to have to look into that and make sure it can happen without having to rent servers like I have. Because all of the ones you've just seen are on my own private server. But I have to wait for Nettie the Noodle to come up with instructions on on how to create a server with the new arc when it comes out, the Survivor Edition. But that's the plan, is to to delete everything that y'all just seen for the most part. I think I'm going to save this one because it's not done. I'm going to save Gen 2 and I'm going to save the one island where I showed you I was running my boss fights just so I can continue to do those. Even when the new arc comes out, I'll probably still load those up and run my boss fights because I doubt I'll be done by then. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. And it was a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Been a lot of fun making all of this stuff. Been a lot of fun making the videos. Yeah, and I didn't get a show. I started making videos after I done most of these builds, so I didn't get to show much of the builds. Like I said I showed this one already, but I know some of you haven't gone back to look at my older videos, so you wouldn't have seen this one. But I hope y'all have a great day. And I'll probably, no, no, probably start recording the the Fjorder playthrough next weekend. I'm working six days a week now, so it's going to be rough finding time to get the recording done. But I'll do my best and get some get some fresh material out there for y'all. Y'all take care, and we'll see you, I guess, on Fjorder.